How's it going everyone? Welcome to another episode of Stardew Valley, a survival series. Let's go ahead and begin. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It looks like a storm is approaching. Thunder and lightning is expected. Oh, that's cool. I'll probably lose more crops. Neutral, okay. They can't make any lightning rods, sadly. Oh, that's gonna be great. More crops to lose. Alright, let's uh... Let's uh, grab the scythe. And the watering can. And let's uh, fix this. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and water the crops and I'll be right back and then we'll talk about what we're gonna do today. Alright, I'm back. So, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be collecting wood to prepare to get, you know, a coop. And then we're gonna upgrade the axe. I would upgrade the axe now, but that would stop us from gathering wood for two days, and that would uh, be stupid of me to do. So, we're just gonna gather some wood. Also, the reason the dirt is like this is because the uh, color mod I had updated, and it had darker dirt as an option. It kind of looks okay. I might switch it back to the lighter version, but it looks pretty neat. But yeah, we're gonna be chopping wood for a while. It's pretty much our goal today. I could grab the forageables, but I want to really see how much forageables I get on Saturday, so. Um, winter seeds. Um, nothing I really want. This money is going to be used for other stuff. Come on, chop the wood. That was weird. It was still facing the other way. I do have some food with me. Well, in the form of those berries, but we only need, uh, I, need, I think I need 400 wood. I'm not sure. Pretty sure it was 400. I'll gather more, I guess, just in case. But I could be running out of trees anytime soon because there ain't really much over here. I guess I'll chop these down too. Let more grow. So much forageables to pick. Not really a lot, but we're gonna have a lot, hopefully, Saturday. That's what I'm hoping. If my voice sounds a little weird, sorry, it's my throat. Not that much wood. Not that much trees here. Kinda sad because I didn't chop all these down. That might be an issue. Alright, well, I think I'm going to chop some stumps down. And then I'll meet you guys whenever I clear this place out. So, I'll see you guys soon. Alright, we're over at Clint's. Now, I might be making a mistake here, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Oh, it was iron. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was iron or gold. I'm pretty sure I only needed 400 pieces of wood. Like I said, if it's a mistake, oh well, it's just two days of waiting. It's not that big of a deal. Now I do know I need to get to Robin's before five or six o'clock. So I'm gonna go get the ingredients I need and I'll be right back. All right, well, sadly she wasn't in her house. So I was a little too late. Oh well. In two days, we'll get the axe, and we'll gather a little bit more wood just in case it was 500. I'm pretty sure it was 400. I'm 50% sure it was 400. Or 500. It could be one of those. God, I wish I wish I knew. Oh, well. This is fine. Go ahead and deposit this stuff. I think we got plenty of wood now, though. That's pretty neat. I'm almost out of fresh water, which is, uh, just great. Alright, well, I got really nothing else to do, so let's just go to sleep. Though it is only five, I could fish. Yeah, let's not waste, uh, time, though I don't have any energy. I'd rather save these berries, so yeah, let's just, let's just go to bed. And prepare for the storm that's coming tomorrow that's gonna take away most of my strawberries, probably. Mildly perturbed. I have not had a. I don't think I've had a single good luck day in a long time. 
Oh, hey, look, it is foraging day, so we will be foraging. But I also want to go to Robin's, so we will do the foraging afterwards. I really hope none of these crops get destroyed. Oh, and I do have to check on my mushroom cave. Every day. I have to check on this every day. Because it will also be good food. But that's good money right there, so... Pretty sure it regrows every day. I could be wrong. It might be every Saturday, I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure it's every day. And now, I'm just gonna wait out here until it's time. Or actually, I'm, let's just forage around here until it's time. See what kind of forages are around here so we can uh, collect them. I don't know if it's going to be a lot, but might as well. It's random where the forages are placed, so. I mean, I'm pretty sure they have a spot on the, like on the map. But it's random on where they will be placed for that day. At least I believe so. That's why there's nothing here, and I haven't really picked anything over here, so. One second, my throat. Sorry about that. Yeah, there doesn't really seem to be anything over here. Let's go meet Linus. A warm rain is a pleasant way to get clean. There you go. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait, have I given uh, Haley gifts? Oh, I still have one gift to give Haley. Oh, that's not good. I gotta get her a gift today. I'll have to go back and get her a gift. Pretty sure the forage works this way. I mean, it, when I was uh, watching someone else play, that that's what they said, so... I'm just gonna take it as so. I could be wrong. It could be wrong, too, so... Who knows? Who knows? I'm hoping I'm... I'm hoping I'm right on this, because if not, I just lost a bunch of forageables. Alright, I'll be right back as soon as she's opened. Alright, she's open. Construct farm buildings. The coop. It was only 400. Nice. I like how 400 wood, look at this. The base is made out of stone though. <laughs> well, I guess in them, this is because of a texture thing, so. Yeah, never mind. All right, so build. All right, the coop. I want to place the stuff over here, but they, I've like not fixed this side up yet, so it's going to be placed over here for now. And we got a coop. This will help us with money. Well, we got to buy chickens first. But, yeah. Let's uh, go get Haley a gift. And then we're going to do some foraging. I know I probably walked right past this, but oh well. Well, these ones did stay. These were there yesterday. So I'm guessing that forage does stay and doesn't disappear. Which is good. Be kind of uh, sad if they disappeared. All right, we'll grab this rainbow shell. Um, while we're here, we can go ahead and just, like deposit everything. Um, put these in here, and then a gift for Haley. I don't really have anything she likes, I think, so I'm just going to give her this... No, I need that emerald. One second. Alright, I'm back. So, I did a little bit of foraging while looking it up on my phone. Uh, I don't have any of her loved gifts. She loves coconut, daffodil, fruit sa or Not daffodil, coconut, sunflower, fruit salad, and cake. Pink cake. I don't have any of that. Um... It did say she likes daffodils and all universally like gifts except vegetables, so. And yep, she did like it. Nice. So there we go. And that brought her up to, well, the fifth heart's almost there. Also, I did check the bulletin board. We missed a couple birthdays. Oh, well. I'm more focused on Haley than any of the other NPCs because... Trying to focus on all the NPCs at once is going to be a problem. And I don't really have the luxury to give people gifts all the time, so. 
It's a little hard to give people gifts when I barely can get anything good to give them as gifts. Let's go ahead and grab all this stuff. Oh wow, that's a lot of rainbow shells. That's a lot of money. Ooh, I should keep these. But they're not needed. They might be needed in the uh, other one, the um, bulletin board um, missions. But who knows? Look at all, oh my god, look at all these. And we got our friend up here. Can't do nothing with him right now. Ooh, our foraging went up. Our foraging is now level six, awesome. Nice, that's a really great haul. All right, let's go ahead and head over to the other place and start forging there. I missed something. There was something right here. I didn't even see that. Wow. We'll go. What we'll do is we'll go th over around here and grab everything we can. You know, we can see, and then we'll make our way up to the community center, and then we'll go down into the bottom part. Is after the, I'm pretty sure after today everything resets. Wow, Clint, I found a ruby in your um garbage. That's a that's something to throw away. What a waste of money. You know Emily likes those, right? You you could totally give her one. Pretty sure Emily likes um rubies. Pretty sure she likes the gems. Maybe it's a, like a couple of gems, but I know she likes uh, gems and stuff and cloth. Couple of things here, not a lot. Seem like there's anything. Oh, there is one thing right here. That lightning is probably hitting my crops as we speak, which is sad. I could be fishing too, but Saturdays are going to be forage days, so I will only be foraging on Saturdays. It's the best day to do it, apparently. Look at all this stuff I got. I mean, obviously I could get this any of the days, you know, between Saturday, but it's like best to collect it all on Saturday because you'll get a big haul. Oh, I'm glad I already searched the trash can. That would have lowered my friendship with her. Oh, poor cows left out in the rain. So it is summer. It's probably nice and cool for you since it's probably hot without the rain. Oh, my throat. I mean, there's quite a bit of forageables, but still. Just not that much. Let's see, what do we need for the forageables? Oh, we need these. Oh, God, I need to save these. Holy crap. Oh, that's not bad. I can... I mainly need these from, you know, around here. I need these in the forest, and then these I can just get from trees. And then these are from the beach. So that's not too bad. Can't you get coral not on, um, so, not just in summer? So, like, why is that a summer thing? Pretty sure you can, at least. Could be wrong. Might be wrong. Who knows? Well, Wikipedia and you guys probably know, but after playing this game for so long, you think I'd remember all this stuff, but I play so many games that it's hard to remember. Nothing over here. I remember there was some stuff over on this side. Just make it sure. I've uh, been thinking about starting a new playthrough of Stardew Valley with mods. Ridgeside just got updated with a pretty big update and 
looks pretty neat. But I'm still trying to work on my other one to try to get it to work because I'm wait I'm just waiting for updates for certain mods. Smappy got updated. Sadly, it doesn't seem like it's a performance update, which the last update 15 fixed my performance issues and then all of a sudden just destroyed them. So, who knows? Let's put all this stuff away. That was a pretty nice haul. I mean, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13. We, wow, we got pretty much almost all of these that we need. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so yeah, we're almost done with those. Oh, sea urchin. I don't need sea urchins, apparently. So I could sell those. I need those. I need all these. Sell the ruby. And I've got enough of the flowers, so. Because we only need how many flowers? We need 15 flowers and 15 of those. So we got... 15 flowers. There we go. 15 flowers. 6, 10. Almost enough berries. And then... We need 30 of maple seeds, so. I think those are going to be the... Hardest ones to get, honestly, but we could sell the rest of this. We don't need them. Alright, let's go ahead and go to bed. Oh, now we can make the lightning rod. It was stuck in foraging. But hey, we got enough money, I think, to upgrade another... T Wait, no, 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 we don't. We should have about, like, 4,300 or something like that. Or 1,400. My restored axe is ready. Nice. But that's going to be the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry it's a little short. That's probably how most weekend episodes are going to go. Depending on what I have to do on Friday before Saturday. Because Saturday is just me foraging. So. But anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.